I'm so nervous for who my soulmate is gonna be. Don't be. You're Santa's daughter. I'm sure you'll get someone just as jolly as you are. I don't know. I really hope it's the Tooth Fairy's son because he's super cute. <gasps> who is it? Uh, I got the Easter Bunny's son. Your soulmate's a rabbit? Yeah, probably because I like carrots so much. I have to go now. Bye! Jack Frost has a son? Oh, I bet he's on the naughty list. You bet who's on the naughty list? Oh, hi, Mom. Hi, Holly. I think your father wants to speak with you. He's in his office. Okay. Santa, your daughter's here to see you. <laughs> Hello, Holly. Hi, Dad. So, have you found out who your soulmate is the son of? Nope. Hmm. Is that so? Emergency! Emergency! All the toy machines have been frozen! <laughs> Sounds like the work of Jack Frost. I'll be right back, Holly. Well, hello. Don't believe we've met. Name's Jared. Jared Frost. Bet you're wondering who froze the toy machines. It was you, wasn't it? Wow. Pretty and smart. Maybe you are my type after all. Hey! I told you to stop following me. Have you told your dad we're soulmates? No. Have you? Nope. And I'm not going to. Well, we can't just keep lying to them. But we have to. If your dad found out, he'd cancel Christmas. You think so? Oh, yeah. Things would get real ugly. Holly, where are you? And that's my cue to go. Jared! Santa's looking for you. Ho, oh, oh. ho. There she is. We thought we heard you talking to someone. Really? That's funny. <laughs> Holly, we wanted to tell you the toy machines are fixed. Great. But now we need to know. Who your soulmate is the son of. Please tell me it's father time. I'm actually not feeling so well. I think I need fresh air. Oh no. Okay. I hate lying to them, but I can't let Christmas get cancelled. What am I gonna do? Holly! Jared? Don't move. I'm pretty sure I can fix the ice. That's not very comforting. No, I can do it. Just hang on. Hey, it's working. You should be good to cross now. Give me your hand. Wait, I don't know. What if you're tricking me? I'm not tricking you. I promise. Let me see your hand. Okay. I won't let you fall. That's it. Nice. <gasps> Whoa. Hey, you all right? Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to end up on the naughty list for lying. My dad is going to be so disappointed in me. Well, I'm used to that. My dad. He thinks I'm worthless. Really? Yeah. It's because I haven't mastered my powers yet. You seem pretty good at using your powers to me. Thanks. Want to see something cool? Sure. <clears throat> it's okay. Try again. Oh, Jared, it's beautiful. You really are. <clears throat> I mean, it's beautiful, but you are too. What are you doing, Dad? Happy birthday, we got you something. I think I know what it is. An iPhone 4 Hello, colored pencils. pencils. Really? Honey, they're magic pencils. Right. Class, write this down. Purple power unlocked. Hey, babe, do you mind if we take a rain check on our date this week? Are you nervous? <laughs> what, what? No, of course not. Are you hiding something from me? Crap, I can't do this anymore. I cheated on you, okay? I'm sorry. I feel so bad you and your boyfriend broke up. This tells me people's emotions. You're not sad. I don't know what you're talking about. She was jealous of us. I knew it. Hey, um, where's mom? She's outside with Coco giving her a lecture about listening. Coco, when mommy says stop, you say okay. But this is a baby! Mom, you might not want to talk to her right now. But you still have to say okay, mom. I think you baby! I think today I'm gonna go with red. Red power unlocked. I get to see people's ages. Well, this will be interesting. Hey, good morning, girly. You're 20? What? How did you find out? Never mind that, but why are you still in high school? I failed. I got held back. Hey, it's okay. Your secret is safe with me. Hey, I'm new. Is it cool if I sit here? Yeah, of course. Thanks. So, how old are you? Me? Oh, uh, I just turned 17 about, like, uh, two months ago. Psst, hey, what? Do you believe in vampires? No, why? Because I think I'm sitting next to one. Huh? You're funny. I'm telling you, he's a hundred years old. Can you watch my bag? I gotta use the restroom. Yeah, sure. 
See, he's... Girl, what are you doing? Looking for evidence. Ew, what is that? I think this is... What the hell, dude? What are you doing with my stuff? What are you doing with my stuff? Well, I think the better question is, what are you doing with this? That's for my lunch. It's strawberry jam. Oh! <laughs> Can I have my stuff back? Yeah, sorry. Yesterday's power was kind of a disaster, so today I think I'm going to go with green. Green power unlocked. Let's hope this power helps me figure out if that guy is a vampire or not. Hey, so I just wanted to apologize about yesterday. You're good. I actually think you're kind of cute. <laughs> How old did you say you were again? 17. I'm throwing a party tonight. Want to come? Yeah, sure. I would love that. Sweet. I'll airdrop you my address. Hey, you made it. Yeah, but where is everyone? They're on their way. Hey, Mom, this is the girl I was telling you about. Ooh, she looks beautifully delicious. Stop it. Really? I could just eat you. Oh, no. Try my punch, darling. The flavor is to die for. Get back. I'm leaving. Wait. I have two vampires after me. This calls for some extreme powers. What would happen if I just picked all of them? Are you sure you want to combine all the pencil's power? I have to. Wish mode activated. There you are. Please, don't be scared. I know you know I'm a vampire, and I'm sorry about lying about the party. Your mom was trying to kill me. I was just trying to hang out with you alone. I didn't realize she was going to act like that. She has bloodlust. I wish you were a vampire so you could understand. Wish granted. What just happened? I think you just turned me into a vampire. How is that even possible? Because I have a secret too, okay? I have magic colored pencils, and I think you just used the last of their power. You don't have to worry about my mom killing you anymore. Thank you, because that makes me feel so much better. Hey, since I did this to you, I promise I'll protect you. I'll teach you how to be a great vampire. Let's see what sense you lose, honey. Touch? Oh, wow. Does that mean that I can't feel pain? Yep, it sure does. Oh, this is going to be the best day ever. And then after that, I got so embarrassed that I... Whoops. You jerk, you hit her right in the head. Hey, it's okay. I, I can't feel pain. Oh. Really? Well, in that case, will you go to the blood drive with me? I'm really scared to go alone. Um, okay. Okay, let me see your arm. Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Um, honey, wake up. You're all done. I got a little bit distracted, but you should be fine. Mom, I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. Oh, dear. Okay, honey, I'm taking you to get checked out. Any discomfort here? And how many fingers now? Three. I got your lab results, and I don't know how you didn't feel this. I can't believe you didn't feel this. Feel what? You said you've been feeling kind of lightheaded, correct? Yeah, just like kind of dizzy. That's because you have lost a significant amount of blood. Did you go to a blood drive or anything recently? Does that hurt? Actually, I don't feel pain today. Oh, well, in that case, would you mind if we take a little bit extra blood? Yeah, sure. Go right ahead. That lady, she did this to me. What lady, honey? The one from the blood drive. I have to go find her. Oh, no, you don't. You are in no condition to leave. But, honey, listen to the doctor. How are you not feeling pain? You almost died. Your heart could have stopped. Oh, my. You might want to close your eyes for this part. Is that a bite mark? That nurse at the blood drive, she must have been a... Rudolph the red nose reindeer Had a very shiny... Stop! What the heck, Stacy? <laughs> Girl, look up! I just saved your life! They banned Christmas music! This is ridiculous. I was just starting to get into the Christmas spirit. Who is that? It's Mr. Smith. He's singing Jingle Bells. He has his AirPods in! Mr. Smith, stop! One horse open! <laughs> no! Sweetheart, you gotta smile. It's picture day. Come on. I don't feel like smiling. Well, you know what? At least take this brush and comb your hair a little before I take your picture, okay? Uh-oh. Not today. Ew! You got me right in the Sorry. eye! Hey, babe, what are you doing? Well, brushes are banned, so I figured I would try a fork. <laughs> what are you, the little... mermaid? We have to break we up. We need to break up. No more Mr. Smith, no more boyfriend, but at least I still have you. Oh, no, they don't. Anyone with a dog has to hand it over to me. We have to hide you. Ma'am, you do realize dogs are banned. Of course, but fortunately for Billy, he's not a dog. Uh-huh, nice try. 
Hand over the dog or else... Damn it. Yes! So glad dogs aren't banned anymore. Oh my gosh, I know, right? I'm glad yours didn't get taken. Hey, I like your notebook. Thanks, I got it from the Brianna Missouri merch store. Oh, cool. <gasps> Someone is seriously out to get me. Oh gosh, why does it smell so bad in here? Sorry, did you see what they banned this morning? I mean, come on. They banned deodorant, not showers. If I don't have deodorant, then I don't shower. Hey, since boyfriends are unbanned, do you want to get back together with me? I kind of want to get to know you more. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Sweet. And here comes another banned item. <laughs> wow, they just banned dresses. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really going to get to know you now. Oh! I'm not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a... <laughs> this way. Let's go. I'm wearing a dress. Guess I'm really gonna get to know you now. Oh. I am not taking this off. Help me hide. Come on. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to wear a... <laughs> this way. Let's go. I know you're freaking out, but I have an idea. We cut your dress in half. What? It'll be a two-piece. Jake, that's actually a great idea. Right? <laughs> okay, hand me the scissors. I don't know. Your hands are kind of shaky, so... Jake, I'm fine. Just hand me the scissors. Uh, I feel like I should do it, to be honest. Jake! <laughs> I'm kidding. Chill. Here, take the... I'm safe. <sighs> but I'm not. Can you close your eyes, maybe? Please tell me you're wearing boxers. I mean, yeah, but still, just close your eyes, okay? Thanks. I appreciate you keeping your eyes closed. Mm -hmm. It's been an hour. <laughs> they better unban pants soon. What? What are you laughing at? No, it's just, um... Why do your boxers say Merry Rismus? Hey! Sorry, I might have looked just for a second. Ugh, they were a gift. Stop, stop looking. Please tell me I can open my eyes now. Uh, you might not want to. Why? Well, because... That's why. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. I can't shave my head, okay? I really can't. Yeah, I know. This is a really bad one. Emergency. Change the band item. How did you just do that? I... Look, there's something you need to know about me. My dad's in charge of this system. How could you not tell me this? It's a secret. I'm not supposed to tell. So you could change the band item whenever you want? Why didn't you change it when it said dress? It's not like my dad just does whatever I say. It's only for emergency purposes. Please don't be mad at me. How does your dad even know to change the stuff? He has a microphone on me that he'll listen to. He's kind of a psychopath. Yeah, no kidding. Please, wait. I need to be alone. If you're creeped out that my dad's always listening, he doesn't listen all the time. Uh Necklaces are banned. Is your dad out to get me or something? No, I mean, maybe... This is stupid. If you really care about me, have your dad end this whacked up system. Don't you think I've tried? Please, just take off the necklace. Fine. It's stuck. Hey, looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Looks like we got a lawbreaker over here. Jake. Guys, don't shoot. You know who I am. Her necklace is stuck. Oh, you're Jake's girlfriend. Come here. Take them both to his father. Get off of me. Sit in the elimination chair and don't let go of him. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Elimination chair? Jake, what is she talking about? I won't let them do anything to you. We shall see about that, son. Dad, let her go. She didn't break the law. Her necklace got stuck. Lies. She was just testing you. Is that true? I... She never tried to unlock her necklace. I have the camera footage to prove it. She was probably just trying to see if I was going to stand up for her. And you know what? I don't blame her for not trusting me when I have a father like you. Well, let's see how much you truly care about her. Oops. Now it looks like you both are breaking the law. I'll let you choose one person to live. It's okay. Just choose to save yourself. No, Dad. I'm not going to make that choice. Just end the system. You know I can't do that. Then go ahead and end me. Wrong answer. A million dollars or a hair clip? Come on. Whoops, sorry. Phoebe, do you know what you just made me do? I didn't mean to. Mom says it's your turn to take out the trash. No, she didn't. She said it was your turn five minutes ago. Hey, wait. How do you know that? You weren't there. Uh, I don't know. I just... I just do, okay? I don't think I can make it to your party. What? Why not? You always come to my parties. Sorry, but my mom's not letting me go. You sure that's the real reason why? Uh, yeah. Anyways, I gotta get to calculus. Hey, I think this clip is telling you the truth about people.
You ready for a date, babe? Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't think I'm gonna make it. What? Why? Something came up at work and it's urgent. Babe, you work at a computer factory. How urgent can it be? I'll explain later. Don't worry. I gotta go. So all this time he's been lying to me about his job. I have to follow him. Did you get the codes? Yes, sir. I have them on my phone. And you're sure you weren't followed? Not that I know of. Excellent. Because I have another job for you. Hey, who the hell are you? Um, I'm... That's it. Get over here. <sighs> hey, boss. Look who I found spying on us. No, I, I wasn't spying on you guys, I swear. Who do you work for? Who sends you? No, nobody. Hey, stop. She's with me. You know this girl? Yeah, I do. She's... She's my girlfriend. Jack, I am so sorry that I followed you. I don't have any wires on me or... Quiet. I told you. No attachments, Jack. It was just a cover, sir. Good. Then you shouldn't have any problem with me getting rid of her. Sorry, sweetheart. But I can't have you running away and crying to the cops. You're not gonna shoot me. Why is that? Because you can't. You have no idea what I'm capable of. <sighs> what? It's jammed. Okay, both of you drop your weapons now. Really, Jack? You're gonna turn against me, huh? Sorry, sir. Can't let you kill her. Now slide those weapons over to me. Alright, let's go. You're gonna regret this. So when were you gonna tell me that you're a criminal? How did you know his gun was jammed? No, I asked you first. Answer me. Listen, there's no time to explain. We have to change our appearance. They're gonna come looking for us soon. Take this cash. You're gonna run to that store quick and go buy us new clothes. Okay, and what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stay here and keep an eye out for anyone looking suspicious. Okay, fine. I really like your hair clip. Thank you. Are you here all by yourself? What happened? There was a woman in there who was acting really suspicious. I think they're on to us. We, we need to get out of here now. Okay, get in. Jack, this is in our car. I know, now let's go. I still can't believe you hotwired someone's car. I had to, my boss knows my license plate. He could have tracked us. I just hope this hair clip still works if I'm not wearing it in my hair. Huh? Look, this is going to sound kind of crazy, but this hair clip is magic. It tells me the truth about people. It's how I knew your boss's gun was jammed, and it's why I followed you to work. You're joking, right? No, and honestly, it's really been coming in handy, so what's wrong? My boss. He's here. Well, what do we do? He's headed right towards us. Follow me. I think we lost him. Yeah, for now. Jack. I can't keep doing this, okay? We've been on the run all night. I'm tired. I think I know a place where we can crash for the night. Hey, I just want to say I'm sorry for all this. You broke my trust, Jack. I know, and I'm going to do everything I can to gain it back. I promise I'll fix this. Now get some sleep. We'll talk more about this magic hair clip in the morning. Okay. Jack. Looking for Jack. You really thought you could get away from us? Where is he? He won't be able to save you this time. Get over there. I want to make a deal with you. You come work for me, and in return, I'll let Jack go free. I don't think I can trust you guys. It's not really your choice. Unless you want to see your boyfriend dead. You're not going to kill Jack because you're his parents. What? How did you... How does she know that? I don't know. She... she must be a spy. Yeah, I kind of realize that now. Who are you talking to? She's obviously talking to someone on comms. No, I'm not talking to anyone, I swear. I bet her hair clip is a camera. No. No, wait. Give that back. Quiet. There's no camera or microphone, but it is a cute hair clip. No. What the... this thing just spoke to me. What'd it say? It said she's feeling worried. How could the hair clip know that she's nervous? You know, I've heard about things like this. I think this hair clip might be magic. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. No, it all makes sense now. That's how she knew my gun was jammed. And how she knew to avoid me at the store. Make this thing tell us the code to that. It doesn't work like that. Sure it does. You're just holding out on us. You'll make this clip tell us everything we want to know, or else we're gonna... Hey, that's enough. Did you just... No, don't worry. They were just trying darts. Now let's get you free. 
I believe this belongs to you. Thanks. So, um, what now? You have to turn my family and I in. What? Jack, I'm not going to turn you in. I... It's okay. I'm sure your parents have reported you missing by now. It was going to happen to me eventually, so just make the call. I'm going to find a way to bail you out, okay? I can't believe I'm using my birthday money to bail your boyfriend out of jail. Hey, you owe me big time, remember? Yeah, yeah. Jack! Brooke, how did you bail me out? My sister gave me her birthday money. Wait, where's your hair clip? Well, that was the deal. I gave her my hair clip and she gave me her money. You did that for me? Brooke, I can't thank you enough. Well, hey, I don't need to use it with you because I know you'll always be truthful with me. I promise you, I will. Get adopted by a race car driver or a billionaire? I'd be kind of scared something would happen to the race car driver, so I'm going to go with billionaire. Who'd you pick to get adopted by? Oh, I chose a billionaire. You got that as an option? My choices were a garbage man or a teacher. That is so not fair. Whoever it is is going to think she's weird anyways. She'll be brought back. This is the man who's going to adopt you. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. First things first, you're going to need some of these. What are these for? A lot of paparazzi follow Mr. Knight. I'm his assistant. Hi, I suggest you put those on now. Mr. Knight, is this your new daughter? This way, darling. Your house is really nice, sir. Oh, thank you. What's that? This is a list of things that I wanted to do with my new parents. Are you married? Actually, sorry, kid. No, I'm not married. That's okay. I'll just adjust some things. I don't know about this. People are loving that you adopted her, and as soon as they write enough good articles, we'll bring her back to the adoption center. Good morning. You look sad. Well, it's just that I can't find any of the clothes that I brought with me. Oh, darling, that's because I threw them away. What? Why would you... They were hideous. We can't have you wearing orphan clothes. But... Hush. Follow me. Oh, this is much better. But the dress is a little bit short. You're 16, not 6. Now hand that thing over. No. What's going on in here? Mr. Knight, your assistant. She's trying to take away my plush. Susan? She needs to act her age. Please don't let her, Mr. Knight. This is really special to me. She's too old for it. It has to go... <gasps> no! Don't be so dramatic, dear. You'll be fine. Smile, Madeline. We're going to do a photo shoot. Smile bigger! Stop the cameras. That's enough pictures. Here, Madeline. Look what I found. How about we do something on your list today? I saw you wrote down Disneyland. Want to do that? Okay. It's beautiful, isn't it? Psst, kid, here. Thank you. Madeline, we need to talk. Mr. Knight doesn't have time to be taking you places. He said that he had fun spending time with me, and that I can keep this. Oh, is that so? Don't make me send you back to that- Susan, I need your help. Coming, sir. What's next on the list today, kid? Are you sure you have time? Yeah, I need a little break from work anyways. Well, I always wanted to go to a science museum. All right, science museum it is. Susan, prepare a driver for us, please. Of course. Have a good time? Yes, it was so much fun. <laughs> it really was. I'm sorry if I'm too much of a distraction for you. Kid, you're not a distraction. In fact, I think you're exactly what I needed in my life. Okay, you rest now and I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Sir, the paparazzi got you at the science museum today. And so many articles have been written. I don't care about the articles anymore. What? Shh. I'm not going to use a kid to get me more publicity. The plan's off. But sir, guess I'll just have to get rid of you myself. And I know just what to do. I found someone from your real family. You did? Yes, dear, your Uncle Nick. I don't remember an Uncle Nick. He'll explain everything, darling. He's here. So you're her mom's brother? Yeah. How did you find me? You're all over the news. I know you probably don't recognize me. Your mom didn't really talk about me much. But I'd like to adopt you. I'm happy here with Mr. Knight. Madeline, don't be rude. At least give him a chance. I don't want to push anything, so how about you live with me for a week, and if you don't like it, I'll bring you right back here. Uh, okay. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, perfect. You call me on this phone if you need anything, okay? I will. Thank you. Of course. Come here, kid. I bought you some candy. Susan tells me it's your favorite. Thanks. We'll be at my place soon. Is it good? Why do you have that stuffed animal? Oh, uh, one of my best friends from foster care gave it to me. You don't look so good. Are you feeling okay? No, not really. 
Hey, it's me. The candy worked. She's half out of it now. Excellent. All right, time to come inside. Come on. Finally, I can take this from her. So what do we do with her now? Well, she's already got Mr. Knight all the publicity he needs, so she's no longer of use to me. Susan, what's going on? Oh, Madeline, isn't it obvious? I'm getting you away from Mr. Knight. He's mine. Mr. Knight is going to find me. He's not going to look for you, because Susan's been telling him that you're fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, darling, but I need to be the focus of Mr. Knight's life, not you. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Everything's fine, sir. I want to talk to her. Ah, uh, sorry, she just fell asleep. Thanks to this brat, Mr. Knight is getting suspicious. You're not going to get away with this. Mr. Knight is going to find me. <gasps> it's him. Stay calm. I will handle it. Mm, so I can assure you, everything is fine. Help! Wait, don't open that! Madeline? I'm sorry, sir, but you're supposed to be in love with me, not her. You're my assistant. But I wanted to be more than that. You're insane. Both of you, get back. Susan and your fake uncle have both been arrested. I thought I'd never see you again. I am so sorry this happened, Madeline. But I promise, as your father, I'll protect you from now on. Father? So, you still want to adopt me? Aw, oh, kid, of course. I mean, after all, we've got that list to finish, right? And look what I found. I love you, Dad. Madeline, I... I love you, too. Happy birthday! Hope you like your gift! Gummy bears? Really, guys? They're magic! Each one gives you a different ability. Okay, let's see what the red one does. Hey, check it out. Someone left five bucks on the street. Wait, don't go over there. That car came out of nowhere. How did you know that was going to happen? I, I don't know. I just did. Excuse me, Bria. Could I see you after class? You wanted to see me, Mr. Peters? Yes, I have an assignment for you. And it's not on paper, if you know what I mean. Actually, I have to go. Mom, I think we need to report my... What is he doing? Your little brother is building a tower. With bricks? No, wait, I think he's gonna... Oh no! Our table! It's broken! What color should I choose today? Hmm, just kidding. I already picked it. Let's go with blue. <laughs> Hey, can I go to Jessica's party this weekend? No. Jessica is a bad influence on you. Mom, she's fine. Actually, she's fine. Okay, so can I go? No, I I just said no. Oh, come on. Just let me go. Okay, sure, honey. You can go. I think I know what my ability is now. See ya. Hi, I'd like to return the shirt I bought here. Sure. Do you have the receipt? I don't. I actually lost it. Oh, yeah, no receipt, no refund. Oh, but it still has the tags on it, and I have the card that I used to pay for it. Yeah, don't care. I need the receipt, okay? Your new return policy is no receipt, no problem. So let's get that refund started, shall we? Your brother wants to play. Would you just forget about me? I have work to do. Hey, Tommy, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I shouldn't have yelled at you. Wait a minute! What? Who are you? <gasps> Yesterday's ability was really weird, so let's go with purple today. Please don't be bad. Hey, Dad, I'm going to head to Jessica's party. Now, wait just a minute. Don't worry. Mom said I can go. I better let her have some fun before I break up the news about the divorce. Uh, you and Mom are getting a divorce? I didn't... Oh, no. You got mine reading today, didn't you? Sweetheart, you weren't supposed to find out like that. Good morning, Bria. Good morning, Mr. Peters. She's got such pretty eyes and a really cute butt. What a creep. Ew, there she is. I don't want to talk to her. Hi, bestie. Oh, don't bestie me. You are a fake friend. You know what? Take your friendship bracelet back. Ow! I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hit you in your face. Come here. <gasps> I can't believe she broke my freaking elbow. What are you looking at, Daryl? I don't care that you broke your elbow. Ah! <sighs> Now that my elbow's finally healed, I'm going with green today. Whoa, what is that? Wait, can I control time? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Why are you packing a suitcase? 
I'm moving out, honey, remember? Yeah, the divorce. You know, this whole thing isn't right. I know you still care about mom. You just need to show her a little more. Now, before I unpause him, I'm gonna give him this to hold for mom. Perfect. Daniel, who prepared this dinner? Dad did. I did? I, I mean, uh, yeah. Oh, baby, this is really romantic. Okay, I don't need to see this. You ready for the talent show? Wait, that was today? Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. <laughs> <clears throat> Taught myself how to play this in one hour, so let's hope it goes well. She's really good.